Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Oracle Cloud Payables Automation for the Modern Business webinar. My name is Katie Bull, and I'm the Business Development Representative here at Alir. Before we get into today's presentation, I just have a couple of housekeeping items to cover. Everyone has been placed on mute for the duration of the presentation. We will have a Q&A at the end of the presentation, so please submit any of your questions that you have through the Q&A portal, or you can also do the chat to panelists. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Jason to kick it off. Thank you, Katie. Can you see my screen okay? Yep, you're good. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Thank you for attending our webinar, Oracle Cloud Payables Automation for the Modern Business. Going to start off, just to give you a little background on myself, um, for anyone not familiar, I have been with Alir just over 10 years now. Um, started off in the PeopleSoft on-premise world um and through a series of projects um in specialized applications and then um 92 upgrades i um was asked as our firm decided to make an investment in the oracle cloud space to take a leadership role in the oracle cloud erp space so our erp space consists of a team focused on core financials um, procurement projects and um planning um so Lots of various areas that roll up to ERP. Um, we've had many successful projects with our clients to help them make decisions about moving to cloud, um, moving on to the application, and then really it's finding ways to optimize and support it once they're on the platform. Um, I've been fortunate to earn a couple of certifications in, this, in the application. I'm also a designated project manager professional. Um, and I'm excited to share more about my experience today with, with the cloud um, procure to pay process and cloud payables. First, I'm going to give a little background on Alir and our cloud capabilities. Um, yeah, we're going to talk kind of the source to pay overview and how Oracle's modern business um, approach to the application from a business process standpoint is designed to help organizations really find efficiencies through the tool. Um, then we're going to give you some ideas on best practices that we see as we've done assessments to help um, various customers make these decisions. Um, and then look specifically at the payable side of the procure to process for automation opportunities. So a lot to get through today. Um, and I, hopefully you guys have some questions or we can continue the conversation after. From an Alir cloud perspective, we do have multiple practices um, across ERP and HCM. Um, we've been fortunate to have um, 30 plus customer projects we've completed. We were previously an Oracle Gold partner and CEI designated for both pillars. Um, since then, it has changed again. So we are in the services track as a partner. Um, we have a team of certified consultants. Um, we specialize in our experience from a firm that's been in business for coming up on 16 years. Started from the really the PeopleSoft world from our founding partnership. Um, so we really have a niche in the PeopleSoft to cloud experience, um, which we've helped many customers with that transformation. We also have advisory services that help clients make these decisions about when and how and what their roadmaps and paths to the cloud should look like. Um, with that time, we've also developed proprietary tools to help accelerate projects. Um, and we really have a dedicated team focused on Oracle Cloud and um, helping our customers realize the value of the tool. <clears throat> Quickly, here's a look at some of our cloud customers um, that we've engaged with to help them move on to Oracle Cloud with various projects um, that we're fortunate to, to talk more about today on the procurement side of the house and, um, and uh, see what they've done. So source to pay. Um, when we look at source to pay and really procure to pay, right, is our core um, functional transactional process we're looking at today. We have a four pillars it crosses in the application. We're talking procurement, payables, uh, payments, and cash management. Sourcing is the, the tool that you would use with your supplier management to engage, qualify, negotiate, and come to terms with um, your suppliers to assist you in your procurement and purchasing process. And suppliers really follow all four of these pillars from a, um, a relationship standpoint in the application. So the trading community model is very um, robust in how it was designed and really stretches across these applications so you can find really efficiencies in your data and reducing of integrations with um, an enterprise solution like Oracle Cloud. Um, so we say source to pay. Sourcing is an event to part of procurement um, to really qualify suppliers. And then from a transactional process, we're looking, you know, procurement, 
record or receive um, from your transaction. And then eventually once you have been um, received for your good or services, you'll become invoiced for them through the payables process. So we'll talk payables um, where you'll pay account report um, payments. We will be processing that expenditure, accounting for that, reporting off that. And then cash management at the end will be a process of reconciliation and reporting. We actually just had a great presentation last month on Oracle Cloud Cash Management and its capabilities that I definitely recommend everyone goes to check out. It's on our YouTube channel and you can find via our website. That's really going to deep dive into cash management specifically. Today, we're going to focus on procurement payables and payments. So when we look at Oracle Cloud, um, you continue to hear the word modern best practice. Um, and that's really been designed by the principles there to make sure the system is designed around industry leading um, practices, as well as opportunities for being flexible and changing as technology continues to change and evolve. And we're finding better ways to do things. Oracle's trying to be flexible in its tool to allow for that change um, as you can be on the system. So um, it's a really unique process they've put in. They have produced, um, did it, um, oh, what's the right, right? Um, information on all of these modern best practices. So when they say streamline source to pay, you'll see this. And they, their focus is control spend, optimize processing, and reduce risk. And you can do that as an organization by strengthening your supplier relationships, maximize that sourcing event to do qualifications and find your best pricing. Um, through that and contracting. Once you're there in the system, you can control your spend with requisitioning and agreements, um, which allows you to eliminate that improper purchasing. If you're going to focus on POs, um, having a contract and an agreement tied to that is going to allow you to effectively manage what your um, user base is buying. Um, correctly and accurately receive and process those goods and services. This allows you to streamline the invoicing process if it's initiated upstream in the application. And then you can really optimize supplier payments by taking advantage of discounts and streamlining the payment process. So this is Oracle's view of um, really streamlining this, mod this modern best practice from a source to pay perspective. Now, I mentioned before that Alir has advisory services. And what we do is we have a lot of um, clients that engage with us to do assessment work to help them make decisions. Um, uh, last year, we engaged with a city to help them with their procurement team as they were beginning to think about making a move to the cloud. Um, and our analysis that we like to focus on is a little bit more tailored around what we view as an organization's real request from procurement is looking to dec decrease prices, improve productivity, and mitigate risk. We feel like these three pillars allow a organization to be flexible, um, make real improvements to their processes, their maturity, and their functionality and give their users more time in their day to do less manual work and more analytical work. So I'm gonna pick a few of those topics in the procure to pay process, looking through that idea of how do we decrease price, increase productivity and mitigate risk um, across a few functional areas of the procure to pay process. So supplier management with a tool like Oracle Cloud, we can look to classify, classify your supplier base um, and get better at preparing for sourcing by having um, clean data in the system, all in a unified um, model that is shared across all your functional areas and an ability to be classified correctly. With other tools that are self-service within the application, suppliers can really take advantage of managing their own data by having access to a self-service portal that Oracle offers. Um, supplier portal really makes them own their own data and your teams be less reliant on that. So suppliers can manage their own profile information, which really reduces risk to you as they are responsible for ensuring that payment information is up to date, addresses are up to date, points of contact are up to date, and potentially even initiating invoicing ideally could be taken care of uh, from them. So pushing responsibility away from your teams and bringing it on to your suppliers for them to manage. Kind of the next topic within there would be the sourcing event. So looking to qualify suppliers and award on best value 
and maximize your negotiated savings through sourcing events. And how do you do this? Well, we qualify and assess suppliers based on the requirements and policies established by your organization and then push onto the supplier to respond to these requirements through a series of questionnaires and, and analysis that they complete within their portal profiles that allows you to take that data, put it on their profile and have it at your hand for specific sourcing events and for your records for the future. From there, with in terms of contract, you can enforce business policies and collaborate with suppliers more efficiently through the Oracle Cloud application. So how is this decreasing price? Through sourcing events, you can increase what we call a bidder depth. A bidder is someone competing for a purchasing event, um, and then they can be qualified and promoted to a supplier once they've been approved. So having more bidders allows you to have more competition for your procurement, and then you can push down purchasing price and increase your terms. Again, increasing productivity. Suppliers are managing this information as a portal tool. So um, not only does that reduce your team's need to enter information into the application um, and potentially look to streamline the, the, to the process using a single solution. So um, sometimes you see best of breed solutions where you're gonna do your sourcing in one application and your procurement in another. Well, someone has to manage that data and transfer that data um, through an integration, which brings opportunity for risk and support or manually, which is you know, the least attractive option um, where someone needs to dual enter that information across the system. So um, having a single solution to do all these activities together allows you to take data from a single point of entry and use it throughout the entire process. Um, within Oracle Cloud, the analytical tools allowing you to take these sourcing events and quickly analyze um, who's responding to the, um, the opportunity um, and quickly make decisions on who you think is the best um, bidder for award really helps from a um, productivity standpoint. And then mitigating risk, um, getting at a lower level at, for the event allows for risk mitigation. And then within the tool, we have better visibility and traceability from the audit perspective, um, which is very helpful for organizations these days. Control. Um, so once we've got through our sourcing event, we've awarded using agreements and contracts to drive the procurement process will allow you to really control um, what purchasing is done against them because you haven't agreed upon um, quantity or amount of items that your user base can then use for their procurement needs. So um, decreasing price by enforcing contract price, enforcing contract terms, ensuring your user base is purchasing correctly agreed upon amounts with the right suppliers in the tool um, through, the, through the requisition and approval process. Um, again, we're looking to streamline the system, increase productivity as we are using um, delivered control functionality and visibility to data to really drive the process. So this really simplifies employee purchasing. Um, they have a consumer-like experience within Oracle Cloud. Oracle Procurement is a very um, cutting edge tool. Um, it's a lot better than the on-premise solutions that Oracle has um, from a functionality standpoint and a user capability standpoint. And it's very much more self-service um, with catalogs and purchasing and integrations that can be accomplished. And then finally, invoicing and payment uh, best practices. Um, with having the data in the single solution, taking advantage of matching from a payables perspective, we can really look to optimize working capital through um, taking advantage of smart discounts, um, which if your terms are in the application through an agreement, you can really get the visibility of that in the payables work area. Um, so we're reducing the cost of payment processing um, by also looking to take advantage of a shared service support across the potentially a global enterprise or you know, even an enterprise that has multiple um, departments spread across the country. If you can consolidate your payables processing to a single center, you could really take advantage of um, how your payments are gonna be made. You're looking to help ensure third-party and cross-currency compliance within the tool. Um, simplifying your invoice processing reduces risk um, for late payment. Um, and taking advantage of the work areas that are going to drive your user base for how they're going to do invoice processing will really help. So looking to increase productivity, 
utilizing connected processes to automate, and we're taking advantage of touchless validation and entry with that streamlined end-to-end -end process, allowing the system to do validation and employees to do exception-based processing only. Um, smart controls are part of the tool to help mitigate risk. Um, and then really ensure you have an efficient and streamlined invoicing and payment process. So that was a bit high level procure to pay best practices um, that we would help our customers engage from a, a, like a, you know, look at the tool, how do we improve our processes? Now let's look at the actual cloud payables um, process and find automation opportunities. So diving into payables, payables is about invoice creation, uh, entry matching, validation, payment, and accounting, um, and then the underlying reporting that goes with that. So invoicing, like I mentioned, has to have a supplier. Um, it's then entered, matched, or imported for creation. There's a validation process, which ideally we're looking to automate through um, seamless transactional entry. So things that are coming in from a, from a procurement event, allow you can match the invoice against, as well as invoice creation on the automation side. We'll look at that in a minute. Um, then we can look to streamline the payment, uh, make sure we're taking advantage of discounts and on the flip side, not um, missing payments that we're gonna be charged a late fee for. And then the seamless integration to the accounting events, which will allow you to drive um, all that end-to-end -end automation. So looking to do reduction of manual creation of these transactions, which you would need to do um, and take advantage of this system application. Invoices within Oracle have um, kind of four ways they can be created. Um, our goal with the modern best practice and the solution is to reduce the manual creation of invoices. Um, Oracle does offer a few different ways to do that directly in the app um, through various integration upload tools like uh, FBDI, um, even the ADFDI. But what we're most interested in is automatically creating invoices through our invoice imaging recognition tool, the OCR. Um, taking advantage of integrated applications, so having expense reimbursements being processed automatically, um, any type of receivable credits being processed automatically, coming in from another source within core financials or you know procurement or other areas to drive that creation of the transaction. Um, and then self-service, again, pushing your suppliers to upload or create their invoices that you have do with them to be that first point of contract. So your team would be, again, exception-based processing only and looking to have automation drive your day-to-day -day processing. So again, let's look to take advantage of procurement, having a PO receipt to match against our invoice um, within the application being integrated with the GL, having foreign currency conversion automatically there um, for global clients. Um, within validation, automatically doing tax calculation matching and distribution for the accounting. Um, this is all happening within that validation process. Seamless approval processing um, that can be, you know, have multiple levels based on dollar amounts, um, pay groups, department, line manager level um, items, and then looking to batch process things versus manually one-off ad hoc process um, within the payables process. Oracle has designed the tool around designated user and um, combined key areas for more self-service processing when you are in the application. Um, the work area is designed for your payables clerks to be taking um, those exception-based transactions that need to be um, touched, we'll say, um, or looked at by uh, missing a validation, um, going over a tolerance, um, which was defined ahead of time, and then you can run it against your matching process. Um, so here we have the different transaction types and levels being broken apart by coming from the OCR, where they scanned in, where they recently created, was well, something had a hold attached to it um, based on a prior validation process. So this is the system doing work behind the scenes for you with that automated tools to streamline your department's process. And then you can really be quickly see what needs attention where you can drive through and um, reduce your clicking in the system, reduce your navigation and really help streamline the process. 
Another tool for invoicing is the integrated invoice imaging for cloud. Um, this is a big topic for Oracle and the amount of investment they're making in R&D for the solution. The OCR has capabilities tied to or will have um, a solution as a part of the their um, autonomous database, as well as the digital assistant. So those are both tools that help the process machine learn and understand how your organization will do payables processing, take images, learn from the manual validations that need to occur for the first time. Then it can understand the next time those invoices come in, how it can more automatically process it. They were presenting that um, very high levels of automated matching and recognition could be occurring as the machine and the tool learns from your invoicing process. So again, having a single solution for invoice creation through an automated process allows for that reduced level of effort from your team so they can be more analytical and monitoring where spend is happening, not just getting purchases paid um, for your organization. So th thoughtful thinking. The matching process with the integrated application really looks to drive from the procurement side, matching those details on the invoice to gather that data, reduce the dual entry of anything, and ensure that what's being paid is what was originally agreed upon, as well as received um, if it was a goods or services item in that process. So again, these are automated opportunities from an integrated application that any organization should be looking to take advantage of. Because Oracle's enterprise software, it has a lot of capabilities. Um, there are quite a few delivered integration points that will come out of the box with the tool. Um, and these work both ways um, because you can take a payable that you are paying associated to a project you're potentially running if you're a project-based firm, or if you wanna track an asset, um, you can automatically associate those and have information pushed to other functional areas within the application. Um, that again, are gonna be driven off that single point of data creation, but drive not only the invoice processing, the payment processing, but also the asset creation or potentially the project update for your actuals. So you can monitor your budgets um, as a PM potentially, um, as well as any other items that might be there from an intercompany cost and landing cost management, some more supply chain information. Finally, the last thought on how do we automate having a streamlined disbursement process um, in that application. So now we move from procurement payables to payments. Um, payments is the, the um, Oracle solution for disbursement. Um, during your payment processing, they have what they call payment processing requests and templates, which you can set up to streamline when you are going to do pay runs. Um, quickly grab all your installments that have passed validation, ready for payment, and have been accounted for on the invoicing side. Um, this allows you to quickly grab similar transactions that you could group together, reducing the amount of transactions that are going to go out the door, um, as well as taking advantage of any discounting you might be wanting to realize as a firm, um, and also tracking anything that is becoming due through these payment process profiles. So finding the right mix of a way to set them up to be run in an automated fashion. Again, looking to automate as much as possible within your process and really only focus on exception-based things that need to be looked at, potentially supplier sites that are not updated, um, missing terms, um, some sort of invoice that didn't have the right profile set up. This tool allows you to streamline your payment process, really allow you to print your payment files um, or send your electronic files to the bank in an efficient process that can be scheduled, run, and as automated as much as you can. So again, we're giving our your user base more time to be analytical in their process and um, take advantage of delivered system functionality that this can all do. Final step in the process, the subledger accounting process. The, the accounting hub is, is, is a phenomenal tool that Oracle has come up with um, to do all of your processing of transactions. Um, and this is across all the functional areas, which again is another efficient tool because you can take a single solution that takes 
information from all the functional areas within the application you're 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 using and build rules to drive all of your accounting and within your sub ledgers and get it right into your general ledger keep everything in sync take advantage of your space reporting cubes um, for general ledger as well as uh, seamless reconciliation from your from your GL to the functional areas back so you can track all the transactional processing from a life cycle standpoint in the tool all by itself. And with that, um, I flew through the content. I know we covered a lot today. So uh, before we get too much into questions, um, reconnect is going on right now um, mostly a peoplesoft conference but there is some cloud content in there um, and there are presentations on these transformation initiatives i'll be talking on thursday about how to do a transformation um, assessment to to make a plan for your roadmap to the cloud um, but those are going on now um, and the alir team has i think 12 sessions that are going on uh, between i think it started yesterday all the way till thursday um, as I mentioned, we have a ton of content within the Cloud ERP blog um, across all functional areas. Like I mentioned, there was a webinar last month on Cloud Cache Management specifically that went deeper into that reconciliation and payment processing. Um, if that's where you have more interest in, so check that out. As always, the Quest Oracle community is a great resource, as well as Customer Connect for those of you that are on at Oracle Cloud already, uh, but looking to get more information. Um, from uh, the community of customers that are using the system. My contact information is here. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Um, if you heard anything today that was interesting to you, um, we have helped quite a few customers in the procurement space um, mature their processes, become more efficient, develop um, purchasing strategies to help their departments only you know, take advantage of technology that they have um, and use the system. And not every problem is gonna be solved with technology, um, which is why our, our strategic advisory services team really helps bring tools and methodologies to the table that help our delivery consultants like myself um, really provide a more well-rounded um, solution for our tools. Um, so as always, check out Alir on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, all the social media channels. Um, we have a lot of content coming out every week across our, our key functional areas and um, can be a great resource for anyone looking for more information. And I think we're good to wrap it up. So thank you everyone for joining and hopefully hear from you soon.